still f***ing slow. They don't have a sight, they will look for this running around, they're running around. There, there, there and there. We don't start like Formula 1. F***ing light, blah blah blah. Please Martin, get the out of here. Shit! I'm just gonna send it, I don't care anymore. That wheel doesn't look so straight, does it, Mer? I have no idea what the You don't like it. Oh. Hi guys and what's up and welcome back to another episode of Backward Life. The race here in Phoenix, it's early morning dude. It's 8 a.m. here. Uh, we have a double header, which means there's two races uh, throughout this weekend. We are today gonna compress all of the driving we do normally on a Saturday, Sunday into a Friday. Today is gonna be very, very crucial to, to get everything correct. Uh, it's a weekend where you can gain a lot. You can also lose a lot. We start with team briefing. This weekend we've obviously got 11 cars. Two of these guys, first time they're racing. Both of them are decent. Both of them have nothing to lose this weekend. So for us, if we can stay clear of these guys, uh, they have nothing to lose and everything to show. They know they're here for the show. They know they're here to do whatever they can to kind of put that thing uh, on a podium. Whatever we can do to stay clear of them is going to be for us. I don't think they can keep up with us. Let's do what we do. Let's stay clean. Uh, yeah, race day. Everything we do counts. So uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So we got a few laps in here yesterday, and I must say, I think this track is so freaking cool, but sketchy. But uh, it takes time to like learn how to jump with a car. Like Travis and the guys, they have dirt bike experience. They've done jump their entire life. My job has always to be to keep my wheels at the ground at all costs throughout my whole career. So this feels pretty odd. And you have to treat jumps like a corner. You can easily lose a tent on a jump. Hey! Hey look, it's an easier, safer jump! Yay, I like! They, they changed the, a little bit more kick so you yeah. fly higher so you can take this one easier. Yeah, sometimes they're laying about here and do yeah. the boom, boom. Um, it's so yeah. hard to get because even with the 120 kph, you still can't clear it. Yeah. Have enough speed over the jump there, gap jump, to be able to, to yep, do the whole thing. Ready. Ready. DRR is ready and we're going to bring it to them. Drivers are ready jumping. You oh, have yeah. your coffee. I got my coffee so I'm sorted. Sun's out. Guns out? Yeah. I felt, uh, felt a lot better today. Uh, over the jump and everything in general, so uh, I don't know the times or anything like that, but uh, we're gonna check. It's better to like jump short yeah. and aim for the corner. I tried to jump first like time, I hard. jumped uh, too short and I tried to hammer it, but then when you land, you need to yeah. to make it stop. Then it, it's better to jump short and get that bounce. It feels good, and then uh, I'm still f slow. Bummer. Feels good, and that's the that's the thing. Normally, when it feels good, it should be better. Just like seven, eight tenths off the pace. Just I know it's only practice, and it's my fourth lap or eighth lap around here, but it annoys me. Hate losing. Hate losing. Hate losing. Everyone beat me, I think. <laughs> I don't know. gonna be a hectic day. I think we have a lot more to lose than everybody else. Everybody else gonna push, like, get the win, win. It's in that back sector, I think, like you said, that if you see that first corner, but we can't see it in here. Dude, he was right in the spot where you couldn't. Not much to say. Not much to say. Still, 
No, like the, no tomorrow, never been slower in my entire life. So it's uh, very embarrassing right now. Uh, normally I can go out there and uh, win a, or be in the top, whatever I do, but uh, here I'm so f***ed up. I, I have so much work to do, so uh, please Martin, get the out of here. Uh, getting ready for battle sitting, everything is forgotten. Uh, we're lining up as P4. We have Chris Meek, we have Conor Matar, we have Robin Larson, we have me, myself, and Chase Elliott uh, at the back. Uh, whoever wins here kind of decides the grid position for the battles. <laughs> I don't know what happened with Frasader, but he went out of his mind. Yeah. He wanted to go fast and sometimes slow is fast. You know? So over the jump, as he was uh, battling with, uh, I think, Oliver Ericsson. Oliver was in the Joker, which is faster. So he knew he had to like go flat out. And he sent it so far down the jump, on gas, in the air. On gas, the, the vehicle goes like this. So it's just like, I just saw his bonnet like... <laughs> Uh, if you, you Martin, can when you edit this, if you can find a clip of Novikov yeah, jumping, it it's like this clip here. Yeah, you're on the they don't have a sight. They were looking for this third second report, and they didn't have it. They were running around. They were running around like blind. Telling Shay's and also calling all of this. That is not my thing. One, two, one, two, there, there, there and there. Because then you have this safety. If he has a problem, this and like that, and all of a sudden here and all of a sudden there and then not here. Like the grid is painted like that. Yeah, but it's not we don't start like Formula One. We don't start in two lines. For me, for me it's like seven lines. And you choose one. Let, let's say it's not it's not world championship spec. Right, okay. Uh, that's for sure light blah 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 it's just annoying yeah. but it just need to be two guys that lines up two cars at a time in a certain zipper now i just uh start procedure um normally there is a uh, someone with a board 30 second 10 seconds uh instead they just uh fire up the start immediately so it shouldn't be like that the organizer fucked it up a bit but perfect perfect job for you <laughs> You know what my job's going to be next year? Yeah. I'm going to be the customer, the driver liaison <laughs> officer. <laughs> you don't <laughs> like it. Go. <laughs> yeah. uh, loads better uh, this time. Uh, good fun battle there. Hate losing to Robin because I gave it to him. But uh, I just drove a different way of driving, so uh, I wasn't protecting anything. And then I opened the door, let him pass, being a real gentle. So that one I gave to you, Robin. So Andres is going to battle soon. What are you going to tell him? Win. <laughs> it's only one thing to do win. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yep. We'll be good. <laughs> We're up against Oliver Eriksson in the first battle, uh, and the winner there meets the winner of somebody else. I don't know. <laughs> Thirty seconds to go. Andreas Backrud, Ollie Eriksson. Here we go. He's gonna get the jump. Backrud. Here he goes. He's gonna throw up the elbows. Ollie Eriksson taking that wide swing. Andreas Backrud defends his line. There he goes into the uh, underneath of the ice shock energy gap jump. This, but look at Backrud. Just a streamlined approach. And then Ollie getting really kind of amped out, throwing that car sideways. Andreas knows, and he's just waiting on the throttle and holding it on the inside line and not allowing the door to open. That's what you got to do if you win the start. Backward takes a checkered flag. He progresses, so it'll be Backward versus Pastrana in semi-final one. We finished off my uh, first battle, which was against Oliver Eriksson. He had beaten me two times in the battles earlier this year. It was awesome to give him back, and I feel Every time I go out there on track, I get uh, the speed uh, more to my advantage. Like the track is uh, improving a little bit, blue groove is coming up. I feel more solid, more comfortable. I haven't been here before at this track, so it feels good. All right, next up is Travis Pastrana, Pastrami on the battle list. Uh, he's been super competitive out there, he's been quickest together with Chris Meek. 
It's going to be a hard one. Uh, I feel better now uh, every time I'm in the car, so I'm going to send it. I'm going to give it all uh, and see where it leads me. Race face is on for Pastrana and Bakarud. Send it for Pastrana and Bakarud. A good start for both of them. Oh, and Bakarud seems like he gets a little bit of a slingshot. No, he doesn't. Pastrana shuts the door on him. Bakarud with that wide swing. You see him coming in. And he's going to try to dive in on Pastrana. See if that gains some ground. And you can see he gets right to the side of Pastrana, but he pushes back. But back Bakarud is absolutely mirroring him. You can see him shadowing coming around the course. On the second lap of three, the Yokohama Tire Joker lap is closed for business when it comes to the bracket battle. It's also the spotters, like, he's on your left, he's on your left. So you're constantly being told you're under pressure. Andreas is hoping Travis is going to make a mistake. You can't give Bakarud that kind of room. That's somebody you don't do it to. I mean, he's a he's a rally cross champion. He knows how to get it done. You know, maybe not so much here in Arizona, but I'll tell you, Travis really has something to prove. And right now, he would love to get TQ. And Pastrana looks like he is going to the finals. Um, All right, guys, so I just uh, lost my battle to Travis there, which is a bummer because I hate losing. But the good thing is, again, we're up there on speed. Travis has been the quickest guy out there the whole day. So I had him on pace, but it was hard to overtake when we were so equal. So uh, it, it was tight. I tried to squeeze in there at the end, uh, but yeah. Uh, it close was one, close one. Thanks. Robin just took uh, Ben enough. Robin took Ben out. It's like hard. Like being lacing hard. Jumped far too long. Got on the inside of Robin. Pushed Robin wide coming down the hill. Robin went up the base of the bank round. So on the next one, Robin was obviously mad. Bennett was on the outside going out of the track. Robin just took the inside and Bennett went up the side of the track. Well, what happened to that car? That wheel doesn't look so straight, does it, Mary? <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. up against uh, Travis Pastrana. He's on pole. We got uh, who else? I'm second. I don't know who the rest are. Uh, it's going to be a, a important one. I get a good chance now to. Be in a good position for the final if I win. So it's very hard to overtake. We're so equal with uh, Travis. Uh, I just hope the track maintenance doesn't water the track too much. A few moments later. Oh, it's Travis is going to want to take that TQ spot, get his good traction moves in immediately. Oli Eriksson behind, sliding all over the road at the start. It's backward on the inside line in P2. Chris Meek is trying to go around the outside. Side by side for Meek and backward over the big jump. Meek's going to have the inside line on the run after the hair. Big great start by Chris Meek. Backward might get hung out to dry here, Jared. He slides out wide behind Oli Eriksson. Then he's going to come under fire from the rear. So I think I might have stayed out there. Let the leader go and stay out. Lead the pack on the next lap and try and undercut them on the next lap. Well, anywhere is grippy. Right now he says that inner line when it's dry, that blue groove is really grippy. The outside is marbles. Backward into the bank Loose. on the outside line. The Norwegians push him really hard here. Can he get the overlap and move up a couple of positions? And it hasn't worked out for Backward. Look, Jared slots into P4. Yeah, all the good works. Uh, kind of lost it there in the heat. Uh, had a decent start, but Travis is just flying up the line. Track has gone away from me a bit. Still, like, same pace as the others, just uh, hard to make it up. So, just need to dig deeper and uh, come back in the semi. Shit! <laughs> What are they doing? I have no idea. I have no idea what the f is going on. Are you mad? No. Are you sad? In so much track maintenance! <laughs> Who is going to race Ian? Nobody! Nobody? So you call Andreas a nobody? Yeah. That's rude. No. Please don't call him. Today. He called you a nobody. A nobody? Yeah, it's it. He says no I said you're a nobody. I can wait. <laughs> Alright, so in the same final now we have uh, Chris Meek, we're gonna have Frank become myself and become myself. Uh, top two goes through to the final. That's where I need to be. Absolutely stacked heat. Send it, second row usually comes off pretty good. Look at Look Martel. At Martel straight through the middle, absolutely fantastic. Meek on the inside line, McConnell goes up the inside now of uh, 
Chris Mink backing it in, proper rally style, just sends it in. Look at the distance he's made on the exit too, beautifully uh, done on the way there. Catching. It looks like Freeze McConnell holds off Martel. <laughs> I mean, look, an amazing, he's, you know, in championship, Hunt won a round this year, and fourth in the semi, the, the just this heat was so stacked. So Andreas had a rough time in the semi, and he has to drive an LCQ. Yeah, he starts uh, P3. He, he has Martel in front of him, who has been driving quite well. So, so we have to get uh, one of the two top spots to go through to the final. Uh, so we're fingers crossed, and uh, Andreas doing everything he can to do his homework to be in the top two spots. Which two drivers are advancing on? Martel and Backward, we weren't expecting to see them down here. A lot of wheel spin for everybody off the line. Martel's there, Backward, he's gonna get inside. Sindrick, Izzy, they're gonna run deep and high. Backward, super low down. Look how slick it is out there. Backward and Martel at the minute in those crucial P1 and P2 positions. And there is the checkered flag from Big B. Martel and Backward are going to the finals. I uh, finished my last chance qualifier. It's the first time I've been in the last chance qualifier. Uh, I was nervous, man. I was not that I stopped believing in what we were doing, but uh, I saw the odds and the chances being low. Uh, still came through uh, off the corner, so I, which means I've been starting dead last in the final. And I just came on the radio to the boys saying like, "We're in the final," and think it happened. I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna send it in the final. I don't care anymore. Way to the back of the grid, but uh, that's the position I put myself in today. All to win. Track looks mint. Good conditions. It's a bit colder and cooler. It won't dust up so much. So yeah, I think anything can happen here. So let's see. N I T R O. Let's go, baby. Here we go. Loads of wheels spin from all the cars. Pastrana's got away really nice. He's got to nail it onto that inside line now. Jared, Kevin, Erickson trying to go all the way around the outside. It's Mink who's looking to come up alongside. Pastrana was worried Mink would be there, and he's right there in behind him. Oh, Comeback from back <laughs> What? Yeah. Oh yes! Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, that felt so good! <laughs> I was thinking of you! I was thinking of you! Never ever, never ever have I been to a race in Nitro Rallycross or anything else and not finished on the podium while Martin's been here. So Martin, you're my lucky, I don't know, caramel, whatever. So much fun, I was a bit lucky there, I needed some luck. Dude. What a final. From LC2 to podium. Oh, I love it. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. I, I saw you on uh, second year. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. Amazing. What the hell? Do you have grenades going on? And I have myself and my spotter Peter. I think it's I think it's awesome. It's Meek and I got together again. Weird. Dude. Just I don't know. Where, where's how it played out. And we actually saw Moses. I mean, I, I, I haven't felt that good today, uh, but I, I must give it uh, up to, to Travis. It's been awesome uh, all day long. Uh, also, the hammer, uh, Conor Mattel there, he, he's been... Uh, I mean, he have had some tough luck, and today he shows his uh, speed in the final, which is awesome for him. Uh, you know, he's a, kind of a rookie, uh, and uh, he shows now his class. So I think uh, it's great for the Mons sports car that have been the fast car out there today. From last to third, I'll take that any day.